Think that you can be just good at maths and waltz through your first job as a data analyst? Think again. What's up guys, Max here from Data Launchpad, where we grow your career into the stratosphere. We are growing at 3,100% at the moment, so make sure you subscribe to learn how to see through dodgy data analysis like that. We also do videos all about data analysis careers so that you have the information you need to decide whether data analysis is right for you, how to get your foot in the door with that first job, and then how to excel in your first job so that you can progress your career and your salary. Which brings me to today's video, which is all about the three fundamental skills that you're gonna need in your very first year of data analysis. Let's get started. So personally, I love categorizing and fully understanding things. And I was in my first couple of months as a data analyst and having trouble understanding what data analysis really was, what were the skills that you needed, what was the nature of the job, what were all the components that I needed to learn to make sure I could excel at the job and really accelerate my career. So I asked my manager flat out, what's data analysis? He was a really kind of understanding, but you could ask those kind of uh, simple questions. So that was good. And he looked at me and he's like, uh, I don't really know how to describe it, to be honest. I just do it. We both kind of looked at each other and thought how weird it was that we were both in data analysis and we couldn't really put into words um, what data analysis was. So I'm thinking, if that's a real conversation between two real data analysts, how difficult must it be for people who are high school students, university students, or simply wanting to change careers to understand what data analysts do, what data analysis is, what are the skills you need to, to get in and then do well at your job? Knowing these skills is really important. It's really important for two main reasons. The first reason is that you might choose the wrong career. I like to think about my career using three lenses. What am I good at? What do I enjoy doing? And what do I get paid to do? Like you might love singing and you know that people get paid to do singing, but you've really got to ask yourself, what are the skills involved in singing? Can I get good at them? Am I good at them already? So knowing the skills of data analysis are gonna help you to answer that first question. And it's really important because this is a competitive world. This isn't a dream world. It doesn't matter how nice you are. It doesn't matter how hard you worked. You have to be able to convince an employer that you are good enough at the actual job they're going to pay you cold, hard money to do. So not fully understanding the skills required for data analysis is going to potentially lead you to choose the wrong career, but it's also gonna make sure that if you do choose data analysis, your journey is going to be slower. You're gonna learn things slower. You're not gonna know the foundational skills that you'll need to build on in your career, what to learn and in the right order in order to impress somebody in an interview. Even if by your devilish charm you manage to get the job without having those foundational skills, you're gonna make it really hard for yourself to progress in your career and to progress to greater salaries. It's kind of like wanting to learn how to surf and someone telling you, just stand up. What you need to know first is the host of other little skills along the way that's going to allow you to do that. Another example, imagine trying to learn the English language and starting off by memorizing Shakespeare. And would you like anything else with that, sir? I have no spur to prick the sides of my intent, um, but only vaulting ambition. Okay, ha have a nice day. There are a range of skills that data analysts need to have an impact at a company and to be able to progress their career from data analyst to senior analyst to manager to executive manager. But we're talking about year one here. And in year one, there are three main skills. You don't necessarily need all of these skills on day one. Depending on which company you're applying for, people are going to give you leeway. They're gonna give you a couple of months to upskill in, in these skills, to really transfer from what is a rudimentary to a more intermediate and then advanced understanding. What you need to be able to show at least is that you have the potential. You need to have the kind of fundamentals. And knowing what those skills are gives you the chance to go away and learn about them in various online courses, to practice them, to practice talking about them so that when interview day comes, you're ready to impress. And so that when you're day one on the job, you can impress too and start moving your career forward. So let's start with number one. Number one, data handling. Someone's got to do the dirty work. 
You didn't just think that in your first week of joining a company that you were gonna run down to the CEO's office with numbers that was gonna change the strategy of the company, did you? Data handling isn't just something you do on the side while you're saving the company and saving the world on the other side. Big surprise, when you join a company as a data analyst, your number one job, literally your job, is to handle data. So why is that? Why is there so much work in that? Because data is rarely stored in a format that is perfectly suited to what you need. Data is spread throughout the organization, stored in different places, in different systems, in different formats. And it's your job as a data analyst to gather all those little bits of data together, to join them all together, to transform them into simple summary numbers that can tell a story, that can answer a question about the business. It doesn't matter how smart you are. It doesn't matter how well-spoken and charismatic you are. It doesn't even matter how well you understand statistics, data viz, or experimentation. If you can't handle data, then you can't be a data analyst. Einstein himself couldn't have been a data analyst without these skills. Of course, it wouldn't have taken him very long to learn. So not only do you need these skills, but no one else at the company has them. This is really the only skill that data analysts have that other people in the business flat out do not have, not at all. So it's the data handling where you can really, really shine and set yourself apart in the first year. Are you someone who can get numbers quickly, reliably, numbers that are always right, numbers that tell a story for the business. Now, while you're providing that value, obviously you're learning more about the business, you're bettering yourself in other ways, in other skills that are going to help you grow over the medium and long term. But in the short term, the first way to impress is with good data handling skills. So what are these data handling skills? Well, I think about it in two ways. And the first is simply understanding what data is and being comfortable manipulating it. So how is data stored? How it's stored in different formats, in tables of columns and rows, with grains, dimensions and metrics. How those tables are all linked throughout a relational database. You need to know what long tables are versus wide tables. You need to know what CSV tables are versus TSV tables. And you need to know these types of things intimately. The second part of handling data is gathering data. We know that data comes in all sorts of different shapes and sizes from different systems. So what you need to be able to do is to talk to those different systems, not only to your company specific relational database, but to Google Analytics for website data, to Qualtrics for MPS data, to various APIs, for even within a single relational database, finding something as simple as total spend by customers over time is going to involve looking at at least three different tables and going through potentially more steps of code. Now, the way that you actually do that is with a coding language like SQL or R or Python, depending on the company. You need to know these languages very well. Your managers aren't interested in getting a almost correct response tomorrow. They're interested in the correct response yesterday. So that's handling data. And it brings us to number two, statistical ability. So you've gathered your data, you transformed it, but your manager didn't ask you for a data set. They didn't ask you for a wall of numbers to look at. They asked you for a simple set of summary numbers that help them tell a story or answer a question about the business. A question like, how did our sales perform this month? How many customers have used our products so far in this year? But how do you make sure that you have the right number to actually prove your point? Well, that's statistical ability. Here are some examples of statistical ability that you're gonna to need to know in your first year to make sure the story you're helping tell with data is the right one. You need to have some level of mental math, kind of spider sense about whether the numbers you're presenting are correct or make sense within the context. So you can check for errors that you might've made along the massive journey of your coding and your analysis. You need to understand the importance of absolute versus relative numbers percentages, percentage changes, so you can place measurements in context. You need to understand distributions and averages so that from a vast data set of observations, you can tell your manager about what tends to be happening. What are our customers tending to do? How much do they tend to spend? How often do they tend to visit our stores? You need to understand the basics of sampling so that when you're looking at a small group of people, you can potentially make inferences about the larger population from whence they came. 
And the last one I'm listing is the ability to translate logic between words and numbers so that when someone asks you how many customers the business has, that you immediately need to clarify whether they mean how many customers does the business have right now, how many customers has the business had at any point over the last month, or what is the most number of customers that the business has had at any point within the last month. So you've gathered all your data, you've transformed it, you've summarized it into numbers that help prove the argument that you're trying to make. And that brings us to the number three most important skill for a data analyst starting out in their first year. And that is, you guessed it, data visualization. Now don't worry, I'm not talking about building the types of amazing charts that you find on the Reddit thread, data is beautiful. I'm not talking about building the most amazing Tableau dashboard that uses all of the Tableau features known to man. All I mean is knowing how to turn a couple of summary numbers into a bar chart or a line chart knowing when one or the other is more appropriate, knowing when to use an absolute number versus a percentage on the y-axis, knowing how to draw a distribution. Really simple, really commonly useful charts like this. These are the ones that you should have a good handle of when you go for your first data analysis interview and in your first months on the job. You don't need to know Sankey plots or those area graphs or this beautiful thing, they're great, but the situations that they're suited for are simply less common in a business and you're not going to be expected to have a handle on them in the same way as you are the basics. So my advice to you is not to overcomplicate things in your first year. The important thing is to present your data in a way that is really clear so that someone can take the meaning from it straight away. And of course, it has to be correct which means referring back to skills one and two. My other friendly advice to you is never use a pie chart. Don't let me catch you using a pie chart. There will be consequences. It won't be pretty like a pie chart. So there you have it. Those are the three most important skills for data analysts starting out in their career. They are literally the job of a first year data analyst. If you wanna get your foot in the door, if you wanna pass your interview, you need to be showing promise in these skills. If you wanna take your career to the next level, you need to absolutely nail these skills. You've gotta be absolutely destroying them. They are your bread and butter. In today's video, we only covered 27.23% of the fundamental data analysis skills. So make sure you subscribe so that you see all of our upcoming videos on developing your data analysis career, keeping that salary growing, and seeing through dodgy statistics like that first one.